So he is well known for the legendary Monty Python's Flying Circus, Faulty Towers, and a fish called Wanda. John Cleese is a great influence in the world of comedy, inspiring many people with his one-of-a-kind style. But there's more to him than many of you know. The iconic actor is in the Twin Cities today to talk to students about business skills. And he's kind enough to stop by the WCCO studios. Thanks so much for coming in. I'm delighted to come in. At least I'm not out in the cold. That's good. <laughs> I flew here from the Caribbean two oh days my ago. Goodness. And it's a terrible shock. And did anybody <laughs> tell you what the weather was like here in Minnesota? Well, they don't, so anyway, it was cold, okay. but they didn't say it was cold. <laughs> it, it's hard to describe until you feel it, right? You feel it. Well, we're so glad that you're joining us. I tell us. you, I'm escaping tomorrow because I'm going to fly to Sydney, Australia. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. But I've just discovered something rather sad, which is that I'm going to get on a plane here tomorrow, which is the 13th. Yes. And when I arrive in Sydney, it's the 15th. Oh, no. So there's no Valentine's Day. Oh, is that good or I'm bad? So well, I don't have to buy my wife a present. <laughs> well, there you go. So that no. might not be that bad. So anyway, you have this book. Yes, which is hilarious. And it's called <laughs> so anyway. So what do, you th what do you think of Minnesota? I know this is your first time here. Yes, I'd never heard of it before, but I oh, gather really? we're in the Midwest, right? Yes, yes, we yes, are. yes, yes I know. I no, yeah. everyone likes to think we're in the Arctic this time of year, but we're still in the Midwest. Uh, and you're, you've come to talk to students. Yes, I've been invited business. to talk at St. Thomas's College. So, what advice do you have for them, for any students who are watching right now? Uh, I would say uh, just realize that almost nobody knows what they're talking about. <laughs> No, no, including myself. So uh, that's the starting point, and I've only come to this uh, philosophy over the last few years. I read a book by a fellow called Taleb, who's quite brilliant, called The Black Swan, and since then I've realized that nobody has any idea what they're doing. But the awful thing is they have no idea that they, they have no know. idea what they're doing, you see. So that gives them confidence. Ah. Uh, the whole place is a complete disaster, but what I do think we could do with a little more creativity, because it's not taught in schools, is it? No. no. I mean, can you think how important it is, even in business? <laughs> You've got to innovate, and yet nobody in schools ever tells you about how to. Well, be how, how do you how do you teach creativity? Is that well, something that comes from within? Well, you tell people how to release it because it basically gets put in hibernation once you go into schools. Because schools, I mean, and I'm, you I'm sort not of found your inner creative self during your high school and college years. No, no, late. Well, uh, yes, sorry, uh, college meaning university. Yes. Yeah, when I was about 22. I discovered I could make people laugh, hmm. uh, but during the entire education from 18 to 22, no. No teacher ever said that I was creative. No teacher ever told me a single thing about how to be creative. And it's so important in our society. It's extraordinary that it's not addressed. It I mean, is. And right now, all of the focus is put on what STEM uh, subjects, science, technology, yes. engineering, math, which are all very, very important. But not one of those is about creativity. No, that's right. And, and uh, it's just extraordinary that anything like that can happen. But, you know, I believe that the, 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 the though left brain, right brain is a sort of simplification of it all, I think that there's a certain amount of truth in it. And we basically live in a left brain society. Mm -hmm. And the right brain skills um, are simply not taught. And how can you, how can you um, come up with any kind of creative idea if you're stuck in your left brain? Your left brain is great for logic and great for analysis and critical thinking, but it's hopeless at, at creativity. But nobody says that. Well, John, we appreciate you joining us uh, today on WCCO at noon. And Matt, I know he was very excited that you were coming in today. I don't get to ask any questions, though. No. I, I just say thank you for coming in. Well, that's very nice. Where's the cat? The cat's <laughs> over there. I thought it was criminal. I we thought I was going to be able to have the cat, the cat on the show. That's why I came here. <laughs> Again, I get no say in this. I just point at numbers. Okay. So that's do that pretty now. creative, though, I would I mean, say. There's literally nothing creative. And later, about I'll this. show you how to hold one. <laughs> Can't wait. There you go. Yes. John's got four cats, Matt. Quite a promise. Okay. <laughs>